Good morning everyone, welcome back to the vlogs. I just got in a few days ago from my last trip. I've been so exhausted the past few days. I've just been unpacking and organizing my closet, getting ready for my internship that I'm gonna be starting very soon for the end half of the summer. I did some light makeup. I want to record a podcast, have a meeting, and then Rocky and I are gonna try and go to the beach. I think we're gonna try and go to the beach around sunset and we're just gonna read on the beach. My current read is Good Girl Complex by Elle Kennedy. Heard a lot of great things about Elle Kennedy's books, but this one is okay. I'm not in love with it, but it's just like a entertaining summer read. I'm on page 53 so far. I have a feeling this is gonna be a three star book but I do want to finish it or at least get a good ways through before I DNF it. And then later tonight, we're going to watch the new Crimes of Grindelwald movie. I'm really excited. Been wanting to watch it for months. I actually was planning on watching it in the theater, but then I just never had the chance to go in and watch it. I'm going to go to the Barnes & Nobles now to do some LSAT studying. I'm going to browse around and then get cracking on the LSAT prep. Don't mind the bedazzled steering wheel. I'm driving my sister's car because my car from high school is gone. These past few days, I've been very stressed trying to figure out my classes for next semester because as you guys know, I'm going to be transferring to UC Berkeley from UC Santa Cruz. And it's definitely not as easy as I expected like after the whole transfer process, just because I'm transferring from legal studies to political science so it's technically a different major but also i was declared at ucsc i was on track to graduate in three years rather than four and also we were on the quarter system i'm now transferring over to a school that's on the semester system and so the way that like credits work out and things i'm not as ahead as i would like to be it's just been rough dealing with all of that trying to figure out how to enroll in classes trying to figure out like where i am am in my progress towards working towards my degree so i've been working with my advisor just like emailing and stuff like that because my enrollment date is next week i just can't wait to be done with like enrollment stuff and all of that and then the next thing i have to really think about is like housing stuff and like moving in but at the end of the day it is all worth it in the end i'm happy to do whatever i need to do to be transferring to this school because i know that the experience is going to be worth all of the hard work. I had a good time at Barnes & Nobles. I love going to Barnes & Nobles in my little hometown. It's very nostalgic studying in Barnes & Nobles Cafe because that's where I used to study when I was in high school. So I always feel like I'm back in high school when I come and study here. Staring at somebody else's version of shit. Coming to you from my messy garage, we are about to go on some errands. Grab a couple groceries. I think I need to get some pimple patches because my acne, not looking too hot. After pining for these shoes for two years, I finally bought some Nike Dunk Lows off of GOAT. I got them in black and white and I got them in a size 10 in women's because my feet are gigantic. I was actually surprised because I found a pretty good price. I would say if you are looking to get these shoes, definitely check out GOAT and scout their prices because every once in a while you can find like a pretty good price for shoes.
from Target and I've been putting them on in the mornings and they have been the best self-care thing that I can do recently. I'm still getting ready. I'm gonna do like a little bit of light concealer and things, mascara, just some light makeup. But I'm going out with my friends today and I'm wearing this dress that I got in Istanbul from H&M. It's very flowy, very comfortable. I'm really excited because I haven't really hung out with my friends in a while and we have honestly a lot to catch up on because I haven't seen them like all summer so far. Tomorrow is actually also Eid, which I'm really excited, Eid Mubarak everyone. I'm gonna continue vlogging tomorrow and just include it in this vlog. Like 12, I started getting like... I ran through another one of my Super Goop sunscreens, so I've been using the TikTok famous Black Girl Sunscreen SPF 30. This one doesn't come out clear like Super Goop does, it actually comes out like white. But then when you like really blend it into your skin, it doesn't leave too much of a white cast, if at all. Definitely prefer when they come out clear. And I know this brand has like a clear one. I think that one's SPF 45. So I definitely want to try that one out next time. But I actually really like it. And it's like not nearly as expensive as the Super Goop sunscreen. It's like less than 20 bucks for sunscreen, which I feel like is like a decent price. <laughs> Just try a little bit. You're doing great. You're doing great. Okay, wait. That's actually really good. Yeah. Me too. Yes. Yes. Okay. 
just did. Sami has an art queen. Mandy. Look at this. I'm humble. It looks bridal. Thank you. She's practicing we're for not a wedding. We're going to make her humble. We're going to make her more. Cocky. Yeah. Also, we're like on FaceTime with uh, Satara. Eid Mubarak. Today we're going to the Eid prayer at 9.30. My family likes to sleep in, so we usually go to the later half of the prayers. This is not my Eid outfit for today, but usually I like to wear an abaya to Eid prayer in the morning. So I'm wearing this abaya that I bought in Turkey. It's like this olive green color. I like it because it like zips open if you want, so you can wear it in different ways. And then also look at the detailing on the sleeve. Super cute. I'm gonna wear these and then I'm gonna wear my new dunks to the mosque. It does not feel like Eid. I feel like it's because I just recently got back from the trip. That's probably why. Every Eid, we go to my mom's friend's house and a bunch of Mauritanian families show up. So I'm really excited because I haven't seen these people in a long time. Hi. It is a green Eid, indeed. This is the full fit. I'm gonna wear my black and white dunks with this fit. Basically, I got this set, so the underneath this white dress and the abaya that goes over it at this boutique in Mauritania. I think it's called Le Caprici something. It was really cute, but as soon as I saw it in the boutique when I was in Mauritania, I knew this was going to be my Eid outfit. And then I bought the matching scarf actually in Istanbul. It's not the exact green shade of green as like the abaya but it's a very close green this is the makeup look i did green eyeliner i actually use the kofi beauty eyeliner sticks love those eyeliners for the colored eyeliner because it's like a eyeliner crayon and so it's a lot easier to put on than like liquid eyeliner my sister's actually also wearing green we're actually gonna go take pictures right now i think we're gonna go to a park and try and take pictures but we only have 45 minutes because my mom decided we're gonna leave earlier and we want to stop by Trader Joe's to possibly get flowers because I'm envisioning my Eid pictures this year with flowers, like maybe tulips if we're lucky. So we're taking pictures in this random like parking suite place where they have like uh, buildings and stuff. We bought baby bread from Trader Joe's to take pictures with. It is probably the hottest time of day, but we really don't have much time to take these pictures. 